This is a star connected transformer. This forms the basis of most of the domestic supplies and supplies to local small industries in the UK. If we look at it, then if we take the voltage from any two lines, so voltage across any two lines, we call VL, and that equals 400 volts. That's a nominal value. It may vary a little. If we go from the star point, which of course is our neutral, from the star point to any line, then this is our phase voltage, Vp. And our phase voltage is the nominal 230 volts, 230 volts. So there is a mathematical relationship between these and it is very important. We can find either the phase voltage or the line voltage if we know the other using the formula VL equals the square root of 3 times Vp. This is a formula to remember. This is important. So if we were to just use these numbers, if I know that our phase voltage is 230, I should be able to calculate the line voltage. So let's do that now. So VL equals root 3 times 230. If you put that in your calculator and work it out, you'll find that that comes to 398 volts. As I said a moment ago, these are nominal voltages. It's the, broadly speaking, it's the figure we expect, but they do vary a little. So that gives us basically 400 volts. If we do the calculation the other way, so we start again with that formula, VL equals root 3 VP. We can transpose this to make VP the subject. So if I know the line voltage is 400, I can calculate the phase voltage. So to transpose this, we need to move the root 3 away to leave VP on its own. And that root 3 will go under there. So the root 3 goes under VL. That will give us VP equals VL over root 3. So that's 400 over root 3. And if you work that out using your calculator, that will come back to 231. Again, I stress these are nominal voltages. We quote 230 and 400. The figures we get are actually measure in the real world may vary a little bit. So if you know how to transpose, this is the way forward. And that's the formula to remember. If you're not very good at transposing, then you may want to revert to the triangle method. So here's your formula, VL root 3 VP. And again, if you went through this transposition, if you wanted to find VP, cover it up, and your formula for VP is VL on top of root 3, which is where we were there. So the last bit on this section is to deal with the currents in the circuit. So the current that comes out of this terminal, this line terminal, the current that goes that way into the circuit, is the line current. The current that comes out of any of the terminals L1, L2, L3 is a line current. And it's made up 
of the current that is coming out of just this coil here. So it's coming just out of one of the phases. That is the phase current. So if you look at this diagram, it clearly shows that the phase current becomes the line current. It's one and the same. So in a star system, IL equals IP. The currents are the same. 